So we're here at CPH Pix Film Festival in Copenhagen. So what do you think about uh, Nowhere Man? Well, I thought it went nowhere. It went nowhere? <laughs> it went nowhere, yeah. I, I was expecting something more to happen, but, but I, I, I felt it, it, it didn't get its message through. No? So, so it, uh, it, it didn't really do the trick for me, you know. And that wasn't a good, I mean, it wasn't a good thing that it went nowhere, you mean? Not really. Not really. <laughs> Not really? No. What do you think? Well, I think it was a very perfect movie for me right now. Perfect. Because I, I think the good thing about it was that it lived up to his name. It didn't really go nowhere. And that made it a great movie for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'll give it five out of six stars. Five out of six? Yes. And uh, so you really liked like, the interaction at the end? I liked the, like the, uh, the direction of the entire movie. I liked the randomness of the scenes. I liked the way that it was like a very untraditional road movie for me. But least. it wasn't really action-packed. It was definitely not action-packed. Not action-packed? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, if you were... Uh, do you make movies? Do you make films? Yeah, I have film? made movies, yeah. yeah? Like uh, feature films? Yeah, not, not, not feature films, all the short movies. Short, short, short features, 20 minutes long. So yeah. if you had to do uh, something, uh, uh, give him a suggestion, what would it be? Like for this movie? For this guy, the director of this movie. No, I, I think he, he reached his audience uh, well. He, he, he's his audience. <laughs> his audience. <laughs> so the there is an audience? Yeah, of course. Uh, what would you people give who are in search of... of, of yeah, I don't know what you're searching for. Uh, everyday uh, for, for adventure. You, for, for your audience, for you as an audience, what would you tell him to? He should do. Or what he should he change? It's a tough question. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You know? Yeah. But something that was good in the movie. What would you say? Like something good. Something good in this movie. Well, I, I like good? I like the fact that 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 he did something. It, it reminds me of Into the Wild. Where he just leaves his everyday life uh, just to seek uh, himself uh, somewhere else because he's not satisfied with, yeah. with how his life is going. Right. And uh, uh, what would you say is bad about the movie? Like uh, the one star that you don't give it is because? I would say that in a way it does feel like, you know, the director could have chosen anywhere in the world. He could have put his scenes anywhere and he could have reached the same result. So in a way I felt that uh, it was more the mood of the movie which uh, took me in and not so much the, the whole structure itself. It was like he could have just let, he could have just chosen any location at all. So I didn't feel that it was like there was that much of a director's hand in this. So, so why did you choose to come to this movie? You're watching all the movies in the whole festival? Yeah, because, because of the photo, because of the yeah. photo, photo for the movie. Photo, photo? Yeah. With him sitting in the sand with his, the sunglasses <laughs> on. Oh. Are you going to watch a lot of movies in the festival? Yeah. yeah, 40 or 50 movies. 40 or 50? You have yeah. the full pass, the full, the full pass. professional. Full pass. Yes, sir. 40 or 50 movies, <laughs> yeah. 10 days, action-packed. Yes. Three more totally movies a day. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what are you watching later? Uh, original. Original? And uh, Tokyo Gore Police. Ooh. Yeah. More police in the cryptotech, maybe? Yes, sir. Right. And he's watching uh, Terra Nova. I'm watching Terra Nova now and later on the investigator, and then I am also finishing off with Tokyo Gore Police to later tonight. Cool. Yeah. Right. Thanks.